Oh, buddy! You little loony. Hi, folks, welcome along to the vlog. Today's Monday, the 13th of April, and we're still in the middle of the pandemic lockdown. I've come into work today um, initially to check on all of the beers that are still in tanks. Everything seems to be sat pretty nicely. We've got a best bitter here for instance sat at 4.5 degrees which is perfect so I've just sprayed all of the um, takeoff valves and we're gonna have a little bit of a sample of each of the beers in tanks today to assess their quality and how they're surviving. They've been sat in tanks for around four weeks which isn't really out of the ordinary for us. I've sometimes had them in tanks for two, even up to three months in the past, provided they're sat at this kind of low level temperature and um, there's no oxygen ingress into the tanks, which is easy for me to do with tanks one, two and three. A little bit more tricky with tanks five through to eight, but um, it's doable, it's definitely doable. So we'll be assessing the quality of those beers today and then I'll be taking a view as to whether I want to go ahead and package them into cask or keg over the next few weeks. But I'm thinking I'm going to perhaps wait for the UK government to make their decision on Thursday, I'm told, as to whether they're going to extend the lockdown or not. And I think an extension to the lockdown will mean ultimately an extension to the closure of uh, pubs, clubs, restaurants, cinemas and that kind of stuff. So I might wait till then before we go ahead and do any packaging, but at least I'll be able to get an idea today of how these beers are holding up. I brought the dog along with me because, uh, well, the dogs are bored out of their head, frankly, just like the kids. Honestly, who ever said that the internet uh, wasn't a human necessity must have been out of their mind because I'm telling you without it our kids would be climbing the walls at the minute and I'm sure yours are the same So yeah, I brought chance down here. I don't trust bringing Reggie out in case he gets off the lead He'll run off and then obviously I'm going to end up Running past dozens of people and I don't want that to happen while I go and chase him down um, <clears throat> Whereas it stands at the minute when I come into work as long time followers of the channel will know that uh, I don't actually see anybody on the way in pass anybody apart from other cars in traffic and then get out of the car and in the unit it's just like walking to another room in my house frankly so I feel pretty well isolated and safe last thing I want to be doing is chasing a dog around the street because he won't listen to me so we've left him at home today uh, but chance already it's like he's never been away He's sat on the deck. You'll notice the floor is bare as well. We took all the paint up a few weeks back to try and do a better job at, uh, at painting the floor because I've used some of these polyurethane oil-based paints and they just don't work. So I'm gonna go for a different approach, but maybe that will wait as well till 2021, who knows. So uh, once I've done the samples, I'll pick the camera up and uh, give you a little look at what we've got and then we'll move around the unit. I've got some tidying up to do. Uh, I may as well use this downtime uh, to get the place absolutely spotless. I've come in today. It smells different in here for a start. And obviously the air is settled. There's no dust in the air as there sometimes is from maybe brewing or indeed working in the workshop. So. That's going to give me an opportunity now to clean all the surfaces down and get as much of this dust out of the building as possible while it's not being kicked up again. So let's take some samples out of some tanks and let's assess the quality of this beer that we've got in stasis. So it's a little bit tricky, I forgot to bring the tripod with me today, but we've got all four 
tanks out here in front of me and they're still all hazy obviously they've not been fined popping the findings in there would reduce the shelf life particularly if we were using isinglass which we're not anymore the aroma on this which is the vacant gesture out of FV1 is fantastic even though it's not got any mosaic in it yet yeah very beery light blonde ale would still be really nice on its own not oxidized at all ready for dry hop if anything and fining process tank two mm. indistinguishable from the first one which is a perfect result tank three Mm. Slightly warmer, similar taste. Yeah, the temperature is still a little bit high on that one. So we'll investigate that. That's at 13 degrees. I thought it might have just been a little glitch, but uh, noticeably warmer. So we need to get that chilled. And then finally, tank four, we've got the best bitter in there. Oh. That's just lovely as it is. Again, still needs a little bit of a dry hop, but they're fine. They're gonna keep for a little bit longer yet. So that's that problem, or that's that test sorted. We'll just have a look at why this is not getting down to temperature. We want this at uh, four or five degrees. Could be a valve issue. Could be a case of having to bleed uh, the top here got a little bleed valve on there or it could be a case of just slowing down the flow on the other two tanks so this one gets a little bit more we'll see I'll have a little bit of a play with it it shouldn't be too difficult to balance and then what I'm going to do is just start going around all the tanks see how the dust has settled on them you just about see that We'll start clearing all the tanks down, give everything a wipe. I've already started in the workshop. Probably restack all this stuff here. We've got grain and everything. It's all off the floor on pallets, but still, it wouldn't hurt to restack it. Get all this sawdust put away into a bin liner. This is from when I've been cutting the desk and the chicken coop the other day. Pick all these jigs up off the floor, get rid of all this scrap timber somewhere, and uh, then pick up this other pile of sawdust. I've started sweeping in here, but not completely as you can see. So still lots to do, keep me busy. Half past one on a Monday. I'm not really under pressure to do anything. So I'm just doing it to keep myself occupied. Well, at least I've got four beers to be going at now. In the meantime, you don't really think I'm gonna let those go to waste, do you? Oh no, oh no, I'll be drinking those today. Oh. Oh, I've had a tidy up, folks. It's looking a lot neater and uh, all the sawdust is gone down the bottom there's still quite a lot to do you know but I think I'm not in a rush just got a little bit of lube to take home not that kind so uh, yeah just for some hinges and that reminds me I did want a couple of hinges to make the uh, chicken pen doors but I don't think I'm gonna have any of the right kind in stock, so that might have to wait. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm Dan, so I'm gonna jump in the car and uh, take Chancy Boy home. You've had enough, haven't you, grey-haired old man? Come on then, let's go home, my friend. You can let Reggie take, uh, take you outside for a fight. I've got myself a lovely pint of proof of concept 
and I think we'll take this outside into the garden which is uh, yeah, decidedly more cold than yesterday which is unfortunate because obviously the cherry has flowered as has the plum tree I'm hoping we don't have a touch of frost that will knock the buds off and we've got some cucumber plants that we potted on and they're showing signs of cold damage on the leaves I might bring these in tonight I don't think they're going to be very happy if they're left out another night in the cold but we've got a little bit of leaf curl on this tomato as well and down here we've got a few uh, seed trays runner beans and then down here I think we've got lettuce leaves the you know the perpetual variety that you can kind of pick constantly tennis ball there for scale give you an idea of uh, <laughs> how big everything is and then all these strawberries I was going to move them around to a strawberry bed in the front garden but the past couple of days with the heat they've really taken off and look at that we've already got some flowers forming there so I'm not sure it's a good idea moving them now I might let them fruit and then put some potatoes in the front garden instead and then switch a roux, switch them over afterwards and I finally managed to get the run for the new chicken pen completed I don't think the chicks are enjoying the weather now it's a little bit colder out here they're not so keen and we see them through there just about make them out or I could just lift the lid the whole lid comes up by the way and a little contraption there they are a bit cold aren't they by the looks of things anyway I'm going to take this pint indoors and I'm going to sit in front of the computer and edit some videos we are a little bit behind on the vids. Oh yes, that's bloody wonderful that is. And uh, yeah, this will be the last one I edit today. Usually what happens though is I sit in front of the computer and while I'm doing that and I drink a couple of these, I tend to get very sleepy. So let's hope I've got the stamina to keep going and get everything edited today. And then we'll be able to get back on to uh, some more more up to date and new vlogs over the next few days hopefully anyway cheers for watching folks see you on the next one I'm just gonna kind of uh, elbow this little clip in here as well ignore that I found out that Hawkshead Brewery who are owned by the same company that owned this actually were closed the other week and they laid all their staff off instead of putting them on furlough pay which is a dirty move they didn't have to do that anyway that's not why we're here let's move this to the side so we've got Gordon's gin and the little puppy in shot instead it's not Reggie by the way so this is soap and this is the beginnings of my liquid soap experiment never made it before but there's no point in me putting a how to make liquid soap video out there uh, on my first time because invariably I get it wrong but there you can see it is a paste and uh, this is ready for stage two of the saponification method where we try and add some aroma maybe even some colour to it and turn it into a liquid the main difference with this soap as opposed to normal hard soap is that it uses the hot process soap making method so it's ready straight away but also it uses potassium hydroxide instead of sodium hydroxide which apparently makes the soap less uh, there's less potential of it becoming hard and it stays a liquid there we go anyway let's go back outside <laughs> 